Hey everybody, how's it going? RGJ Ronnie here, and I'm back with Amnesia Part 4. Yeah, Part 4. I got it right. I'm bang on the money. Okay, last time I. What what did I do? Oh, shit. Okay, last time I got the watch because they do the, the chemicals, whatever they are. And I'm out of lantern oil. At least I think I've gotten all of them. I've got one, two, three, four. Yeah, four seems like a good number to start with. And plenty of lantern oil. One, two, three. Okay, fine. We'll try and preserve this. Okay, got orp orpment. Orpment. Copyright. Acrogia. And calamine. Yeah, calamine. Okay, that was calamine. And I guess we're going to use this, use these to make our acid or explosive for whatever we are doing. So we're going back to the laboratory. That's something. He sat down by the casaba wall casting. Oh, yeah. He sat down by the castle wall, grasping for air, sweat poured from his forehead. Oh, sh Ow. Well, that didn't feel good. Yeah, I guess those red thingies um, explode when you touch him. After enduring three days in Algiers, a sailboat was finally arranged to take him across the Mediterranean Sea to Gibraltar. Having reached British territory, it was just a matter of reserving a cabin on SS Hortensia. And I didn't catch the last bit. That's only a few words, probably doesn't matter anyway. And there could be danger lurking around any corner, but screw it, I don't care. I hear Mr. Monster up there walking about, but I never see him. And there's a child crying somewhere. Okay, that is lovely. And we'll put some, we'll shed some light on the subject here. Four different chemicals are needed. Oh, what a coincidence! I have four different chemicals in my inventory. Um, how do how do I use these? Okay. Just gotta double click them like so. Into my inventory again. Whoa! Alright, buddy, take it easy, take it easy. Don't know why I did to upset you, but sheesh, I am sorry. And need to turn the burners first. Yeah, that would be helpful. Twisty old doodad here. And let's let's get some chemistry going here. No, I was never really good at chemistry in secondary school, high school, whatever you want to call it. But I guess that's because I never done chemistry and even if I did I'd all I've already fucked it up. I need to put my container here. See, this is the reason why why I wasn't even allowed to do chemistry. Because I just burn a because I'd probably burn a hole in the table like that. Yeah, shit. Bring turn these on again. So much effort. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, awesome stuff. We got a pot of acid. Mmm, acid. Mm -hmm. And Jesus Christ, what happened here? I turn my back for one minute and the whole place gone to shit. Are we able to make this jump? Get your ass up there. Shit, no, I'm not. I'll probably have to get some boxes and stack them up. This one here. But it's 
day. Say. Okay, awesome. What? Stay. Okay, I can do this. Right, almost out of that time. Let's try that again. Sometimes you have to do something crazy like crouch jump or something. That would just be awkward. <sighs> I guess I need another box or two. Just a distance instead of walking forward with it. Okay, just need one more box, which is conveniently placed here. Don't you fall. What the fuck did I just say? Ah, it's brutal. This is taking longer than I expected it to. Oh no, I got it. I got this shit. Jeez, I only need one box. My god. It became impossible to avoid the commotion in the streets of Bakery's attention as he opened shutters to sprint soldier as he opened uh, shutters to print soldiers, opened fire on two young men fighting back. Their voices were silenced in a haze of gun smoke. Oh that's not good. I got all this red ooze popping out of me. Uh, never a good sign. And here is the entrance to the inner sanctum. And now I've got to use my acid on this. Oh yeah, what's that shit burn? Just like in real life. Oh no, wait, this is the refinery. Small up to certain damp moss, the pieces lay scrambled on top. Too many of them, he thought, or perhaps too few. Alrighty then. It sure is dark in here. No shit. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now if you wish. What's the reason? For the darkness, that is. Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Daniel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. Be careful when enemies are near. Crouching and darkness makes you a lot harder to spot. Oh, fuck me. I'm just going to be something scary in here. Oh, fuck me. He's gone. Hello. Okay, he's gone that way. I'll go the opposite way. In case he comes back, I'll close this. 
Oh, shit. Jesus, man. I was so wrong. Ooh, more lantern oil. Always useful. Now let's vandalize this place. Ooh. Shit, how do I throw things again? Oh yeah, right click. Oh, there's only so many I can pick up. <laughs> yeah, that just bounced out. Okay, last one, last one. Okay, seriously, that last time. This basically got two for the price of one. Ah, damn. Okay, let's see what do we have over here. We have a doodad, a rope, a hammer, which could be useful. And I'll turn this off now. Really, I don't need don't need the lantern all the time. You can see just mine without it. And there's nothing else in here that I need to pick up. No notes, no nothing, no nothing at all. No, no, good, good. Look, man, I'm a fearless bastard just opening all of these doors without any regard. Um, the down of cool. Oh, they be quiet, you're disturbing the neighbors. Holy shit, did that door just open by itself? Is it least now dangerously low? Make sure to stay in life and try to make progress. My sanity's alright, what are you talking about? Oh Jesus. <laughs> no, that'll not do. Twenty second of June, eighteen thirty-nine. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? What's all this nonsense about an orb now? I remember those such take. Don't lie to me. This goddamn nonsense. Orbs, orbs, spheres, cubes, whatever. No, I won't, won't waste my. Who did it? My doodads, my my tinder boxes. It's out from the other side. Okay. And speaking of tinder boxes, that's my sanity. Hands pounding and hands hands are shaking. Jeez. Here. Ah, never mind. This guy's a little chicken shit, ain't he? Can't stand it in the dark for a few minutes. Oh my, but it ain't even that dark. How's it now? Head is pounding, hands are shaking. Okay, fine. Hardly any room. Close the store out like so. Oh, oh god, oh shit! Oh no, Daniel, get up, he's coming, he's coming for you, Daniel! He's coming for you, down the shit! Oh god, is he going? Sweet Jesus, alive, that scared me. Well, it didn't really scare me, just startled me. Oh. Alright, I'll fit the fume. 1839. I feel the need 
to continue this journal even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. They seem to change colour, shape and texture, but ever so slightly. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself, like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. Okay, so Mr. Will Smith is also a geologist or some kind. Okay, that is lovely jubbly. Hopefully the monster won't be out here. Come at me, bro. What you gonna do? Chase me about the place? Watch out, it'll probably be out here. Boo. Hmm. Aha! Alrighty then, the secret passage. We are making excellent progress in this. Okay, now I've got to move. Can I move this box? Can I just do the old put and drag routine? No? No? Okay. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Alrighty then. Okay, what, what do we have here? Trapdoor of some kind? Too heavy to lift by hand. Oh, it is trap door. We got ourselves a pulley system, and so I assume we just jiggle this. Something is clogging the crank and pulley cr contraption. Oh, I see what it is. Uh, can I just jump up there? Firm grip in it. Jesus, where are you, Mr. Fucking Butterfingers? Okay, no, give me, give me this. Ah, oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Okay, come on, short set, get up here. Before I do anything else, I'll just explore this place a bit more. In case anything scary happens, like the monster comes bursting in through that door. Uh, just more boxes, any more tinder boxes, any more notes, any more anything. Uh, ooh. Okay. Always good to have more oil, speaking of which, how much oil do I have? I have plenty. And how's my sanity? Slight headache. Okay, everything's in check. A bit of paracetamol would get rid of that headache. In that door, I already know where it leads, I'm not opening it. No. Uh, hey dookie, I'll just jump my ass down here. What the... Jeez. Oh, quit that shit. Okay, I think I'll end part four once I enter the cellar archives. He crashed through the surface. The dark Atlantic water smothered him as he struggled to make sense of the situation. Happens to us all. Alright, okay. Okay, I think I've made enough progress in, in part 4, so um, yeah, this is it.
so far, so far the, F, the amnesia story or the story of amnesia is quite interesting. I'm really, really interested by it. You know, I've always been interested in horror games, but this horror game is taking it to the next level. And speaking of which, I think my next let's play is going to be on Resident Evil 4 because that, that game really started me on, on the whole horror genre. It was one of the first horror games I played, in fact, it was so good I went back and even played. Uh, one, two, and three. Although I didn't exactly pass them, I came, I came very far, or I went very far in Resident Evil One, but never ended up passing it because I always got stuck in the turret. Either way, okay, I'll keep, I'll start rambling. So I'll see you guys in part five. So until then, see ya.